Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's job we are freeze branding. So we're just waiting for Alan to get here. Um, you'll have seen Alan in a previous video. He also does our foot trimming. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to show you what he puts in his box, where the irons sit. No, you don't need to dry ice Well, yeah. So in this one, we've got dry ice. This is compressed carbon dioxide, this. It comes in pellet form like that from the factory. When it comes from the factory, it's minus 79 degrees. Good hell. And we add that. Keep it in there, just a cool box, insulation box. Yeah. Put it in here, mix it with the irons, and then we add industrial alcohol to it, which is called isopropanol. It obviously lowers the temperature a bit, but sends the irons to about minus 35 degrees. Well, That's it. Chilly. Cool. <laughs> that we're doing today and so we're going off the rear tag so if you can see on the rear tag we normally go for like the last two or three digits depending on if we've got that cow or not that could have been a disaster there alan so we've just got ruby in now and so she's got 611 at the end of her ear tag so she will be branded 611 Neighbour, but always brand your cattle. <laughs> <laughs> don't pull out of it. Why? No, don't pull out of it. No, saying. it's an old brander's saying, is that? <laughs> Shows your age, that. Yep. <laughs> Without you. Well, it's a bit. 
So what I'm doing here in the video is I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on her back and as you can see as soon as I touched her she like dips her back and pushes her back end out so it just makes a flatter surface ready for Alan to put his iron on. Right so we're just going to show you what we do step by step with this one. Clip the hair off. And why and do you clip it? You clip the hair off first and then the freeze branding iron gets a bit of contact with the skin. Yeah. Right. I've got an idea, why don't you undo that? Right, and then it goes in and brushes it. Why do you brush it? I'm going to brush it now, just with the alcohol that's in the tub, uh, to clean it. If you noticed before, it's all still got dust on it, so we need to remove all that dust. And it's really important that we get a proper contact with the iron onto the skin. Right, we don't good. want any muck or any dust or flecks on it, just to clean it. Right. What number is it, Alex? 982. So you're constantly looking at your watch, aren't you? Yeah. You don't want to give away your tricks and how long you keep it on for, but... Everyone so. will do it different. So all we're doing now, holding the iron on quite firmly so it doesn't slip off and move about. And uh, you've got to remember that extreme heat or extreme cold burns. So all we're doing now is killing the black colour pigments to grow back white. So it's not hurting her, is it? No, no. It'll sting for a couple of seconds at the start and that's it. And she's standing quiet away. She's not bothered. Lovely, neat little nine. How do you know where your numbers are in your box? That's another trade secret. <laughs> you put them in order, like your own order, don't you? Yeah. I've forgotten how you do it, but like in a circle or something. Yeah. Top end of your iron, the number of it. The number? Yeah, so if like pull it out. 50 and a nine. Perfect. Right, I've got a white cow in now. And so obviously on the other ones, uh, we're killing the hair pigments for them to grow back white. But because this is a white cow, we just leave it on that little bit longer. No hair will grow back and it'll just have a pink number. Is a little flick test. Beep. <laughs> yeah. Moving, but it started doing it again. Come on, sister. That's it. The rest of them. Only about 500 to do. You're going on your own? I don't know. What are you doing? Do I do a hand? <laughs> Come and bramble over there. I'll ring Rex and Frankie up and if they're miles away, yeah, I do what I'm. <laughs> There's some job. Last one's done. I'm just putting a one on the front of that. And that's it. Finito. <laughs> Alex's little side smile. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get you in the video. They're asking you for you. Little fan club. 
That's it, all done. He's on to his next farm next. How many have you got at your next farm? Uh, probably about 200 to do today. If we get them done, we should do though. The lads, yeah, have, yeah, yeah there's a full team of us going there. So. Good stuff. Um, so that's it, everything's freeze branded, we've done all 40 I think we had, um, it's just heifers that we end up that we buy in, so anything that we buy in we obviously have to freeze brand. Uh, the reason why we freeze brand is for um, like herd management reasons, so when they're in the parlour, as you've seen in the parlour, hopefully you've seen in the parlour if you've watched my parlour videos, uh, when the cow comes in you can see a number, so it's just for us to identify her, so we can see when she's bulling, see what's carved, see you know, if she's ill, we know her numbers there. We do match the um, freeze brand to the ear tag. Um, so if they're in the building and we can't see the back of the back end of them, we'll then have a look at the front end so we can actually see their ears. Um, but yeah, it's just all for management. It makes things so much easier for us as the farmers. Um, so yeah, that is why we freeze brand. I don't. I think I know one farm that where actually I used to go with Alan Futterham in who didn't freeze brand but everything else that I've known of as everyone has freeze branded it's just so much easier um, just really helps you look after your cows better keep on track of them and yeah all that sort of stuff so that is why we do it um, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching um, please like subscribe and um, hit the bell button do all the good stuff um, and yeah thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one bye guys Here's a wave. <laughs> Bye.